He's ridden at some of the most famous race courses around the globe. But there's one that stands out, the New Zealand Racing Hall of Fame inductee, James McDonald. Yeah, wonderful to have James here today on Boxing Day. He'll be riding here at New Year's Day as well. When you have a look out over Ellerslie, what are your memories and what, are, what sort of memories does it bring back? It's amazing really, it's incredible because this is what I grew up, this is headquarters. And at the line she won the derby. It's just so special because it's picturesque. The parade ring, you'll never get a parade ring like it in the world, no matter where you are. And um, the track is just so completely different. It's rolls up and down, it's got a beautiful big camera to come into the straight and it's a very even, even track whether it's wet, dry, it doesn't matter whether it's windy or not. If I had to compare with Flemington, the wind blows, it favours back markers where this is just very, very fair track. Where does it rank? Oh, it's number one for sure, um, only because I, I really enjoy coming here. It's always funny because you wake up in the morning and you go, whether you feel like riding or don't feel like riding, some days you don't. We're here, Ellerslie, you're just always pumped to come here. I feel a lot more pressure coming over here to ride than I do back home um, because of the expectations. You're saying James McDonald still gets nervous? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I get nervous for sure. Um, probably more, <laughs> more so over here, but uh, I just hope I can get a winner. Only in Jakarta the leader, clear by two from running on strongly. Now one court took his street, then wider out just a canter, but it's all easily done in the end. Only in Jakarta. Oh, not heat off. Still got three more to go, but that's a good one to get off your back. I'd love to win a group one here, that's for sure. Let's bring it on. They're off and racing in the Cambridge Studs, the Beale Classic. At the 200 metres, true enough, here's Fiscal Fantasy on the inside, coming after them, Vernon Mee still battling on, Mongolian Marshall, true enough, Fiscal Fantasy, and Bowden arriving late, he's done it! What was it that you said you wanted to achieve today? <laughs> yeah, I said I want to win a few races, I've done that, but it's great to get the icing on the cake with that one. Caitlin been here before to see you win a Group 1? Yeah, she's been to many over in Australia, but never here, so it's a great thrill to have her here, and even my mum, who's very proud, and... She's good. J Mac back in town. True enough wins the group one. What's your reaction to uh, the big news? You'll be the youngest person ever to be inducted into the New Zealand Racing Hall of Fame. Yeah, it was um, obviously when I got the phone call, it was a bit emotional, but overwhelming at the same time, sort of. But uh, yeah, it's um, a huge honour. It's Yeah, it was amazing to get the phone call. Why did it mean so much to you? Because uh, a lot of the jockeys that have been inducted already are. I aspire to and um, I, I grew up with their posters on the wall as a kid as like if you wanted to be in All Black we had All Black for, um, posters so I had Lance O'Sullivan on my wall obviously Shane Dye, Jimmy Cassie they're all champions of the turf so to be next to them I, I suppose um, it's a huge honour and but I'd like to think I still got a bit to achieve and um, over the next 10 to 15 20 years if I'm around that long it'll be nice. Yeah.